away King Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier and Mike Tyson, two boxers that everyone compares to each other, but are they actually that similar? Let's dive in and see the similarities and the differences. First, let's take a look at the full work. So we're going to start off looking at the similarities because both fighters have a wide stance and take steps only. Look at Joe Frazier taking steps as well as Mark Tyson with a wide stance because they both need to generate power. A difference in the footwork however is that Mark Tyson pivots and transfers the weight just like you saw. He pivoted and transferred the weight to put him in position to throw the left hook for a knockout. Now let's take a look at their defensive moves. Mark Tyson had a range of set defensive moves. Here you see him rolling shots, trying to set up a counter. Again, rolling shots. Rolling shots and counter with an uppercut. But he would also do traditional slips. I believe that this is where the confusion comes. Joe Frazier's preferred method of defense is bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving is very different from how Mark Tyson defends. Bobbing and weaving is defending in the rhythm. You could say you're slipping and then rolling, slipping and rolling. But bobbing is slipping to the side and weaving is rolling beneath, changing the level. Bobbing and weaving, just like you can see, is boxing in the rhythm. It's very dissimilar to Mike Tyson's style, which is almost a rehearsal of strategic moves planned to be executed in specific sequences to get knockouts. Mike Tyson knew one led to two and two led to three, so he knew here the left hook was going to come eventually. Whereas Joe Frazier transfers the weight from leg to leg, but he feels what's happening. He's bobbing and he's weaving, attacking with the left hooks, but he's feeling the fight out. Mike Tyson certainly has a more comprehensive defensive style, which relies more so on know how than being tough and being able to flow through. Let's take a look at the offense. Both fighters love throwing power shots, but Joe Frazier relies heavily on the left hook, just like you can see here. Joe Frazier's defense tied so well into his offense that at times people didn't even realize that Joe Frazier had a very limited offense. He usually wouldn't throw any punch other than the left hook or right hook. He doesn't throw jabs to set up combinations and he usually doesn't even punch in combinations. He just power shot after power shot. But this gives a massive indication of how physical Joe Frazier must have been. That he never even needed to throw combinations. Just power shot after power shot and he could score victory after victory. Now just like Joe Frazier, Mark Tyson's defense ties in very well with his offense. He sets him up to throw power shots just like you just saw. But the difference is, Mike Tyson uses every punch in the book, including the jab, which Mike Tyson would often throw to close the gap between him and opponents. Look here, he slips and then he fires the jab. Again, Mike shows us his comprehensive style as he makes his defense with offense. Now this is the biggest flaw, the biggest hole in Mike Tyson's game. He doesn't block punches. He only slips, rolls. Here you see him trying to steam forward because Delon Lewis is occasionally too quick and he can't slip and roll. So he ends up just walking onto punches. Say what you want that this isn't a prime Tyson, but you can clearly see that when he is slipping punches, he is able to avoid them. So maybe if he did have blocks in his game, he would be in a lot better well-rounded defensive fight. Although Joe Frazier holds his guard in a cross guard position, I don't really regard this as him using the cross guard. He just has his hands placed in front of his face and if by chance you hit them, you hit them. But he's not intentionally trying to block you. Instead, he's solely relying on just bobbing and weaving and marching forward. This again for Joe Frazier is a massive loophole. Like when he boxed Muhammad Ali in all three fights, Ali managed to land a ridiculous amount of punches on him because of this. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this style comparison between Joe Frazier and Mike Tyson. Subscribe for more future videos, like and leave a comment about what you liked or any piece of information that you think I left out.